hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to do a first impressions video of eye an eyeshadow palette and it is going to be dum -dum -dum, the nubian what is it called the nubian 2 by juvia's place now amidst all of the controversy yes we are going to do an eyeshadow look with this palette this is my first time purchasing uh um anything by Juvia's Place and if you watched any of my pre I think my previous video about Ult the Ulta sale that's where I picked this up and it was um a palette that I did get with a gift card um yeah so not like I spent well I guess technically I spent I don't know but anyway yeah so that's this palette here so I already did the face makeup so I just wanted to do the palette I mean the eyeshadow look and this is how the these are the colors here and um I said okay well you know let me see if what i can create using just this palette here all right so um yeah i did keep my hair out my which it kind of it's like really shrinking and everything so it's probably going to shrink even more throughout this video but hey i said you know it's supposed to be nubian so let me feel a little bit nubian if you will nubian air quotes okay so anyway I think the first color that I am going to dip into will be the Madagascar. That's what I'm going to use as my, um, I guess my color just to kind of, uh, you know, what I use first just to kind of make everything look even on my eyelid. Let's see how this one comes out. Oh, okay, yeah. Good. That's what I was going for. So I just want to even out the tone on my eyelid. So that's why I am using that Madagascar color. Okay. Not too bad. Am I, am I doing anything? <laughs> okay. There we go. As I step back sit back a little bit now that's how i see oh my hair looks so short my hair is like like i said shrinkage but no matter whatever all right let's see let's dip into morocco i'm trying to think of what i don't even know what kind of look i'm trying to do right now but we're gonna dip in morocco for our crease area <laughs> i'm scared i'm not gonna use this brush let me use this one here I'm interested to, I'm just wondering like, okay, how is this gonna come out? Let's see. All right, Morocco, I see you. I think the world sees you. Why well, I think that that was like more of a burnt color, not an orange color, but okay. This, is, this will be serve as our transition color in our crease area. So how is everyone doing? How, what do you guys think about that little controversy, controversy that happened with this whole Juvia's place um, and all the drama surrounding there? I kind of, um, like I always say, I don't subscribe to the whole can, can, cancel culture. And I'm not going to not do something unless it, it depends on the circumstances. I didn't feel like the um, the circumstances surrounding it warranted uh, going ahead and just not using Juvia's place. I, um, but hey, I could be wrong because I'm hearing bits and pieces of what actually happened. I'm going to do Kenya. That's Kenya is right here. I'm going to use that for my V area, my outer V kind of darken this up but um yeah so if you didn't hear about that basically juvia's place is uh, supposed to be it is a black owned company i think the girl the owner is named chi chi and i think i want to say she's nigerian or she has nigerian descent I'm not 100 percent sure on that part but um she had well i should say first on instagram juvia's place did a shout out to Jeffree Star for talking about their foundation on his channel. 
and if you don't know jeffrey star is an influencer on youtube and he uh apparent you know he's notorious for well i should say the the culture is that he is very racist so um a lot of people there was a lot of backlash when they when juvia's place decided to go ahead and speak on i mean you know big him up let's see um all right guys so now what should we make the lid color i don't know um hmm. i feel like if i do this color here which is shiva i feel like that's like what i always use or something similar i was looking at ya that's that right there and it looks pretty coppery so that looks cool nefertiti is another color that i will always gravitate towards and then nairobi i'm interested to see i think i'm gonna use that ya color that coppery color just to go with that orange ish the morocco that we put up there yeah i think that would be better it looks so monochrome anyway what do y'all think i don't know i feel like that needs to be it needs to look a little bit more pigmented but then I'm like, okay, I kind of want to, let's see, I'm, I dipped into, oh, this is the wrong, this is not the brush I was using. I dipped into Jezebel, and Jezebel is this uh, maroon, I guess, color, plum, I don't know. I don't know my colors, but nonetheless, let me see something. I don't know my first impression is I, this is not anything like to write home about I'm still not having gotten the payoff that I want on my lid color I feel like my um, crease is not where I want it to be so I can take sorry for that noise sorry um I'm thinking I just to darken it a little bit okay I like that one this a little bit better First impression, hmm. All right, I am not feeling, I mean, I shouldn't say I'm not feeling it. It's just like a palette. I still, it took, to me it took too long to pretty much get this look, like to get it, to get this payoff amount. Um, But yeah, what do you guys think? All right, guys, so here is the finished look of the uh, First Impressions Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. Um, my final thoughts are, I mean, the, the palette has some beautiful colors. I'll show it again, but um, so the palette definitely does have beautiful colors. I'm interested to see how this one would look and the payoff on this one i really think i'm going to do a swatch video and kind of see how they show up um well i shouldn't say show up but see yeah how the other colors show up because i was not impressed by the payoff i felt like i had to like you fin even though the pan is big you'll finish the pan really fast because you're gonna be always digging into the palette so that is my only gripe with this and please excuse the makeup. I look, to me, I look like hella bright, but um, it's gonna 
this oxidizes the powder that I use oxidizes really orange so but for whatever reason it starts off this high color I don't know but if I come back on do another video with this look on you will see by then by in a couple of hours not in a couple of hours as soon as I go outside I'm gonna just look completely different and it is of course the light that I have on going here have the light that I have on here um I was looking at oh that's how you turn it down change the color a little bit to see if that would help nonetheless anyway that's neither here nor there I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and always watching my videos for my forever subscribers um thank you so much and Shout out to my little Charlotte and my Martha and Mary. Love you guys. And, um, oh, before, let me say this again. I think I've said this in one video. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, I know I said this before. All my jewelry pieces, like, I get them from paparazzi. And, um, in particular, Miss Mama Ting Bling. I'm going to leave her information down below. All her jewelry pieces are $5. And you can just get, you know, all the little statement pieces and things of that nature really good so shout out to her too all right so until my next video bye everyone